Hey everybody, we're back for another episode of Romero P Productions. Well, that's that's uh who creates this show, but what's the name of the show? The Wonderful World of Romero. That's right, the wonderful world of Romero. And Romero, why are you wearing such a hat today? What are we celebrating today? President's Day. That's right. This is a special President's Day edition of the wonderful world of Romero. And with that hat, which president are you honoring today? Abraham Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln, the goat. That's right. Tom Brady is not the goat. Abraham Lincoln is the goat, right? Yeah. So did you watch the Super Bowl last week? A little? No. No. Did you watch the weekend at halftime? Yeah. Did you like the weekend at halftime? Yeah. You know, I did too, but you and I are in the minority. Uh, a lot of people didn't like the weekend. Can you believe that? No. Yeah. So what are we talking about today? Oh, before we start, before we start, we have a special message for somebody, don't we? Yeah. And who is that special message for? Eli. Who's Eli? And and who is Eli? My cousin. Your cousin. Where does your cousin live? Colorado. In Colorado. And what would you like to say to your cousin Eli in Colorado? Happy birthday. Happy birthday. You want to sing it to him? Well, it was actually on the 13th. Oh, it was on the 13th. Okay, so happy belated birthday to Eli in Colorado, right? Yeah. All right, so um, we'll move ahead with this program today as um, it is a special President's Day edition, like we said, and a special happy birthday edition to Eli today on uh, the wonderful world of Romero. Right, Romero? Yeah. All right, so first up today is your new book. And go ahead and hold it up to the camera if you'd like to. Okay, the camera's over here. There you go. And what is this book called? The water that froze. The water that froze. Okay, I'll hold the microphone here. You can read. It was 32 degrees. S. Av, Fahrenheit S. Av has made a snowman. He's so ready to shovel 96 pounds of snow. Wow. Frozen water in the cup. But S.A.V. sign isn't aware. He's just wrapped up in shoveling the snow. For those of you watching, this book goes from the back cover to the front, if you haven't noticed. He's flipping from the back to the front. That's a very creative way to write a book, Romero. No. You read that part already. Yeah, there you go. That's where you are. He started digging a hole. <laughs> it got longer and longer. And longer. Wow. How good. He got to the door. He opened it. He tried to drink some water, but it wouldn't come. So he microwaved it up to, up to 3 minutes, 28 seconds. The end. 3 minutes and 28 seconds in the microwave and the ice turned back to water? Yes. And then he drank it. Yeah. Was it warm or cold when he drank it? It was just the right way. Wow. And if you haven't noticed, everybody, we are having technical difficulties today. Now, Romero, did you write that book yourself? Yeah. When did you write this? Uh, sometime last week. You have quite a... Um, quite a repertoire of books now don't you yeah do you know what repertoire means what <laughs> well i don't even know that i used the word correctly but you have a lot of books now that you have written and you have a lot of different stories under your belt so to speak don't you yeah all right so what else are we doing today on the wonderful world of romero uh, we have new signs to him oh. uh, 
and the technical difficulties continue. It's Winifred. All right, so what is this sign? Winifred. Winifred, and what, what does Winifred do for a living? Tells cars that they cannot turn left. Now, you can, you can take the hat off if it's bothering you. There you go. Okay, so it tells cars not to turn left. And now who is this sign? Oh, and, and hold, as, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me. And as you can see, the hat is tearing at the seams. Yeah, the hat is tearing at the seams. It's got to go to the seamstress, doesn't it? That's what a seamstress does. All right, so next up, what do we got? Okay, why don't you show that sign? And who? what is this sign's name? Rare part. Rare part. Rare is it? Rare, I should say, not rare. Rare, as in not common. And we lost our camera again. Just a minute. Salus. So what do you have here? Salus. Salus. All right. And Sal what is Salus's name? Salus. Excellent. A sign whose name is on it. That is a good. That is a good thing. Uh, where is Salus? And what does Salus do? It's because look at him. It's double sided. That's right. So where where does Salus work, and uh, what does he do? He works at where at Salus at the corner of Salus Ave, or I, as I should say, the the corners of Salus Ave. Excellent. And is Salus Ave in Tupic? Yes. Now, those of you that subscribe to the channel got a, a view of Tupic this week, didn't they? Yeah. Yeah, you showed Tupic from an overhead angle. We took a look at it. Um, what other signs do you have to show today? Two more. Traffic light. There's, there's traffic light. Her name is Vetterst. Vetterst is her traffic light's name why don't you show traffic light yeah turn her around so they can see the traffic light there you go and what where does traffic light work and what exactly does traffic light do it tells cars if, if they can go have to go slow or or have to stop excellent interesting i i like that job what else, what other signs do you have there i have one more that you dropped on the floor And lastly, what sign do we have here? Ellet. His name is Ellet. What is on Ellet? Let's get it all in the in the camera's angle here. And what does it say? Harrington Ave. He, it used to be faded, but we gave it a recoat of paint. Okay, so we've met Ellet before, and the Ellet got a recoat of paint. Just, just yesterday. Just yesterday, and actually last night. Last night, Ellet got a recoat of paint. Now. Where does Ellet work? Uh, la uh, last evening. Last evening. Did you paint it? No. Who painted it? Mama. Mama painted it. We, we only did the writing part. Say that again. Yeah, we, we only did the white part. We didn't do all the green over. Okay, so you repainted the writing and things. Now we can read it much better, right? Yeah. All right. Is there anything else you want to say to everyone today? Uh... No. No? Is that, that's it for today? Yeah. All right. Let's say goodbye to everybody before the camera cuts out again. Goodbye. Bye, everyone.